How's it going, YouTube? It's APOC. I'm going to show you some pro tips and tricks in Lens Studio to help your productivity. Uh, let's get right into it. Custom components have hidden values that you can access and actually change. And the way to get them is by just printing out the properties of the script component that is the uh, custom component. So we have ML Eraser here imported in, and we can see all these properties that are easily accessible through this component, and we can now access them in this script. So we have Eraser Mix, which we know exists because it's in this little API list here, but some of them don't have that little API list. So you're going to be all on your own. And look at this. We have Mask Render Target Material. That's not an option you can even see here. We have Output Material, which is in there, but Mask Render Target Material, don't know what it does, but I might mess around and change it to another material and just see what happens. Uh, same with simple screen material. Starting render order might be useful if you're doing some crazy render order stuff and something's weird with it. Maybe this will fix it for you. So play around with this, guys. Uh, have some fun, and I'll show you real quick. If you're going to use my script to print them out, it's going to say unknown type at first. You got to grab it from resources and put it into the first one, and then the next field becomes available. And you can just drag the one, the scene object that has that component on it into there, and boom. Are you trying to make some mock-ups in Photoshop and you're coming into Lens Studio and just screenshotting these model images? There's actually a better way. Go into the Snapchat Lens Studio program files, look for Studio 3D Resources, then Preview, and all of the preview stuff is in here. You got all the videos right there. We have all the images right here. We even have the device overlays in here. Like let's open up a Galaxy S20.png and you can see all the different device overlays in here. Got two objects with two different transforms, but you need them to be the same. Instead of sitting here copying all of these one by one, there's a better way. Go to your transform component and click the gear or you can just right click up at the top, click on copy. Go back to the other object you want to paste these transforms to. Click and right click in the top or click the gear and choose paste. And now your transform values are copied over. This one's a super time saver. Instead of making all these values on your script inputs and manually dragging everything over one by one, just start with one, click on it, click on the first one, hold down shift, click on the last one and select all of them, click OK, and boom, they all import at the same time. How do you normally link a string input to a scene object input to a texture input? Probably with three different inputs like this, and if you have a bunch that you need to link, you're going to have three arrays like this. And that gets very cumbersome when you're at like 30 things that you need to connect together. And it's just not fun and it takes forever. But folks, there's a better way. Yeah, that's right. You can actually have dynamically instantiated groupings in the script UI. I know very few people that know about this, but it's been in here for a while and I regret not posting about it sooner. Snapchat has put it in some of their own scripts. That's where I found it in like a couple of the templates. You'll see it kind of hidden in there. But this is so freaking useful. And you don't have to do just this array style, right? You can actually just have it for just one. So now you have a group that is access accessed through one variable. And then the properties of that variable which cleans things up so much. You don't have to have like five different variable names for the scene objects uh, for question one and a scene object for question two with script.question one and all that. No, you just have, you know, script.question and then you get the values below that. It is so useful. And this is how you set it up. There will be examples in the description uh, for everything in this video, but you've got to use this one. This will change your life. It makes everything so much better. All the properties are just any valid script input in Lens Studio can go into the properties. So we've got a texture input here, a scene object, a string array there. We got an array inside of an array. It's crazy. Um, I haven't tried making a sub type definition. Maybe I'll try that soon. But guys, this is the holy grail right here. You get using this in your scripts. It's going to make you so much more productive. I promise it's going to change your life. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Drop down in the comments some of your favorite tips and tricks in Lens Studio that I didn't cover in this video. And I'll see you guys next time.